so many good reasons. Let's dive straight in. First of all, you can work remotely, you can work from a home office, you can work from abroad. It gives you the opportunity to travel, to go see those you love, to experience life and not be tied to a desk for your job. But also you can do your job in a more remote and flexible way as a freelance business. You can start a freelance business while you're studying. It gives you the opportunity to save up money, to make money for your studies, to maybe practice some of the work you're studying to build a career on. It's a great way to start a business. If you don't have a large following, you don't have a course yet, freelancing is a great way to start and then you can add all those layers on top. It allows you to discover what you want to do. Maybe you just know you want to start a business. You don't know what you want to do. It allowed me to do that, work with amazing people, specialize, make money. There's so many opportunities. I think freelancing is one of the easiest ways to start making money online. So why not try it out? Honestly, what I love most about being a freelancer is that every day can be different. There will be days where I'm traveling and I'm, you know, working my business and taking care of my clients while in beautiful locations, in new homes, in hotels, and it's wonderful. There's days where I'm home with my kids, I'm homeschooling, I'm with my husband, we're doing our day-to-day -day lives and I'm working from our home office. There's, there's days off, there's days where I can spontaneously take time off. If I want to spend a couple of days with the family, I can organize my work for the evening or early mornings. There's so much flexibility. Also, there's so much to learn, you work with people, um, you feel like you're helping people, you're growing yourself, you're making money, you're growing skills, you're, you're just growing something for yourself. For me, it's been the most incredible thing that changed my life. It opened so many doors and just offered me my dream to have an online business. That's why I select to be a freelancer. For me. <laughs> Okay, so when I answered this question before, I gave you all the good stuff, all the stuff that excites me about being a freelancer, that I enjoy in my life. But there's also to everything, every business, including freelancing, there are downturns. Um, some of my biggest downturns was when I started out. I was really taking on the wrong projects and I was extremely overwhelmed underpaid and I really felt like this is just not going to work. I am better off in a job because I'm earning too little. That was a big problem. All throughout my career, I often felt overworked and it took a lot of systems and a lot of learning to let go of projects or clients that don't work and really choosing. I had to rise up myself to become a better freelancer for my clients to understand and you know serve them better. But I also had to trust myself to pick and choose who I work with so that I can have a good business and organization is key and also just being kind to yourself and making it all work I guess that that's another thing for it I love this question when I read it the first thing that popped into my head is solve a problem solve your clients problems so let's go through some really quick practical examples of how we can do that let's say you go on freelance platforms and a client says hey I need a social media manager to work with me and help me on Instagram you bidding on that project introducing yourself as a social media manager you solve that problem. Now they are paying you, now you have a client. Or you can be on social media, posting on social media, creating reels, and then having this in your reels, in your call to actions, in your bio, in your stories saying, hey, do you need social media help? I can help you film reels. I can help review your account. I can help post for you. I can help you with hashtag research. And that's, you, you attract clients to you. So whatever you do, you solve problems. Make it super clear what you offer. So that way you can go where the client is and pitch or bid, or you can attract them to you, but you're solving problems and that's how you get in paid.